Hello, everybody. Welcome to something I don't want to be doing right now. This is something called Surgery Squad, and what it essentially is is basic tutorials on how to do different surgeries. And you go through it and do it and get extremely grossed out if you are queasy like myself. So, word of warning ahead of time, if you are queasy, go away right now, because there's probably going to be lots of blood and guts and gross placentas and all that other good stuff that comes out of a woman when you have a c-section it's not going to be fun for me or for people who are queasy so i hope you guys enjoy it let me know what you think of it um just i'm all, i'm actually scared of throwing up because I, I get queasy when i see like a paper cut so this is this is scary for me i swear to god and uh yeah let's start out welcome to surgery squad's virtual ah. cesarean section well, at least we have jeff, a doctor and I'll dr jeff through this surgery today good Hi, Dr. A Jeff. cesarean section, commonly referred to as a C-section, is an inpatient procedure where a surgeon makes incisions in a woman's abdomen and uterus to deliver a baby. This Wonderful. Procedure is Good often to know. Performed when I didn't know that one, Dr. Jeff. It to be a safer delivery option for the mother, baby, or both. Why am I doing this? Both. Oh, my God. As with any surgery, the use of alcohol and tobacco increases the time it takes to recover. And if the mother has used alcohol or tobacco products during her pregnancy... It can also She's dumb. cause serious birth defects. Our patient today Whoa. is in her early Okay. She she looks a little nervous, healthy, as am I. Oh god, she's really pregnant. Okay. High blood pressure. Luckily for us, we get the opportunity to deliver her first. This day. is not lucky, dude. If you're now having a C-section, you are not lucky, Dr. Jeff. I'm sorry. In. We'll begin okay. the procedure that by is a very realistic hand. into our patient's Wow, it's even got so that we can a provide tan her with where any a ring medication was. and fluids she may need. I've I think that is a real a hand. Oh god, I'm scared. On the patient's upper arm. Can you find a suitable vein in the patient's hand? No, I can't. I'm not a doctor, Dr. Jeff. Oh, okay, the arrow helps me. Thank you, arrow. Looks good to me. Next, we need to sterilize the insertion area using an oh, alcohol I can't even wipe. take needles, man. This is going to be bad. Okay. All right, sterilize. Do, do, do. How much of this do you want me to do? Is is this st I got to make sure this thing is sterilized as fuck. Um, am I done? Oh continue okay now that the area is disinfected it's time to insert the needle and advance the angiocatheter into the vein what take a stab at it what is an in oh, take a stab at oh you're a funny one dr jeff all right let's do this shit oh a small burst of blood that oh, you it just moved saw in the, the skin moved underneath the needle no is known oh. as a flashback this lets uh, us know that i the can't even handle this well why am i doing a fucking c-section shut up dr now, jeff I'll just get this over with tourniquet. While applying gentle pressure over the vein to collapse it, you can no. remove the needle. This will reduce Why am I the removing it? I, what a... pour out of the angiocatheter while the okay. needle is removed. Oh. Once you remove the needle, I'll properly dispose of it in a sharps container. Okay, Dr. Jeff, thank you. Oh, oh it went down again. Oh, that's so gross. Anything under the skin, the I can't handle. Oh. And finally, we need to secure the IV with tape and test thank the Thank you, Dr. IV Jeff, line. for not making me doing that. Excellent job. Was it easier than you thought it no. would be? No. Fuck off, Dr. Jeff. It was not easy. To reduce oh, what am I doing now? I'm not... This is not the right had, side. We'll be giving her a spinal anesthesia. Oh. This differs okay. from an epidural in that we'll be injecting the anesthetic is this directly someone's back? into the there's spinal like fluid beauty that marks surrounds and shit. the spinal cord. And there's no catheter involved. First, clean the area using iodine-based anesthetic I can do solution. the cleaning. Cleaning's fine. It's just when there starts being cutting and all that other shit that's gross. There we go. There's some cleany shit on you there. Are you happy? That's good, right? Actually, you know what? Let's, let's make sure. Let's let's just make sure this, this lady's okay. I mean, I know she's in labor, but we have, to, but we have a lot of time to uh, clean her up here. Well, I, are they in labor when they have C-section? Yeah, they are, right? Next, I don't, we'll I don't know. I, I don't know anything. Anesthetic to decrease the pain the patient will feel when we inject the spinal anesthetic. Okay. Here you go. You gotta feel some numbness. Poke. Poke. I'm not really aiming that too well. I hope that's so okay, though. So far, so good. Now we need to inject the spinal anesthetic directly into the patient's okay. spine. I, I, I could do that since I can you know, see her spine. I don't think real doctors have this sort of x-ray vision, but I'll take it. Now just place a bandage over the injection site, and we'll move on. Okay, here we go. Place that bandage. Right. There you go. Before oh, oh. we can make any incisions, oh, no, I'm we need to clean the patient's abdomen with an antimicrobial iodine solution. Okay. Antimicrobial. Here we go. Look at this thing. It's like a deodorant stick from space. What the hell is this? I kind of like it. Alright, is that clean enough? Should be, right? 
Now use the scalpel. Holy shit, I guess not. He put it everywhere. Incision. He put it even on the clothing. As the incisions are made, you'll need to separate the layers of tissue, fat, and muscle. Are you no. ready? No, I'm not. I, how am I ever going to be ready for this, Dr. Jeff? Okay. That's gross. It's getting a little messy in Yes, there. it is. Use the suction to clear out some of the excess okay. blood and fluid. Uh, <laughs> it's making drinking noises. Oh my god. No. Okay, we're good. Insert the retractor to push down the patient's bladder. No, no, no. Oh, but this is so... Anything spreading skin is gross. Okay. Gee, whoa! What What Make am I looking at? It's like a fucking uterus, universe. So that we can begin the delivery. Be careful, though. We don't want to accidentally injure the baby. Okay. Drag a scalpel. What, what am I... I don't even know what I'm cutting. Oh, the, the uterus. Oh, oh, is that a baby? We're almost there. Why am I even asking that? Of course Sometimes it's a baby. Sometimes a surgeon will need to use forceps to help the baby out, but not in this case. Thank you, the Dr. Jeff. Wait, I don't want to do forceps. The pressure around the baby's head to assist us in removing the baby from the uterus. Okay, so I'm basically popping a huge zit now instead, instead of pus coming out, a baby's coming out. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, push more. There you go. Welcome to the... Whoa! Before we completely Jeez. remove the baby from it's the uterus, fucking alien. use the suction bulb to suction fluids from the okay. baby's nose and mouth. Stay alive. Whoa, that one really deep. Oh my god. Is this normal? Does it go that deep? Okay, now, it's good. It's good. Baby. Help me remove the baby from the uterus. No. No. Okay. Oh. Oh. Excellent. Oh, we're not done yet. Oh. Clamp no. and cut the baby's umbilical cord. Okay, yes, quick, do it. Please, it please, placenta. just quick, do it. I mean, I know, I know, it's just a cartoon, but it's still fucking gross. Okay, baby, good, it's delivered. I'm good. It's a girl. Good, great. Our That's fun. Nurses will take the baby we did it. To be clean, weighed, and examined before allowing okay. her mother to hold her. In the meantime, we need to remove oh, the God. placenta. Oh God! I forgot. I gotta do the cleanup. Oh no! Not no, not the placenta. Oh my God! Okay. Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh my, what is that? Oh, is that what it looks to like? To finish up, we'll need to close okay. the incision sites. I think we'll go with absorbable sutures instead of... Whatever you want, Dr. Jeff. Absorbable, whatever the fuck you just said, just so do it. Get it over with. Doesn't have to worry I don't like seeing skin removed. flapping open. It's gross. You can take it from here. Okay. Here we go. Come on. Do it quick. I don't know what I'm doing. I, I Well, obviously I'm stitching it, but... I mean, does it just do it? It's doing it on its own. Okay, I don't even have to do anything. Okay, sweet. Now I just stitch. That's cool. Just cl just close it up. Close up shop. That that's how it works, right? We just close up the. Is it, I think that's a muscle, right? I'm going to assume. This is so bad. Oh. Well, now we know how a C-section works, at least. In case you were ever curious, I know I sure as hell wasn't. Oh, okay. There we go. And you're all good. Totally normal. That's totally natural birth, right? That should totally happen. Then again, I guess it saves lives, so that's always good, right? Still feels a little wrong to be cutting through people. To bring out babies. I have to be totally honest. That was not, not fun at all. And I'm a little queasy. But we did it. You did an amazing job. Thanks, Dr. Now, Jeff. the recovery process begins. The recovery process begins. Since Good stuff. it may take a while for our patient to recover from the surgery. God, this is like an in-depth tutorial. that she plan ahead by getting people to help her with daily tasks, such as grocery shopping, cleaning the house, or yard work. All right. It oh, look it. Happy family. Wasn't she blonde? No, 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 she's brunette. Okay. During this time, our patient Whatever. can expect some fatigue and mild discomfort. Good stuff, Dr. Jeff. It is Dr. also Jeff. recommended that during the recovery period, patients get plenty of rest, drink lots of water, and avoid intercourse. Our I'm sorry, if there was a hole in my, my wife or girlfriend, I would not be, you know, having intercourse anyways. Foul smelling signs discharge. Of ew. Ew. No. Ew. Ew. That's... Or leg pain okay. or swelling. Foul smelling discharge. That's gross. It is also highly gross. recommended that she contact her physician if she is frequently depressed, as this may be a sign of postpartum depression. Okay. And that is a C-section. Yay! I think you should test we your did surgical it. skills in no, Doctor Jeff, not right now. I'm kind of grossed out. Oh my God! Natural tile birth, virtual dental filling. All right, so that was a uh, yeah C-section. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I sure as hell didn't. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.